the Spectra Pro Select Armor Shield gutter protection, gutter guards, gutter covers, which we're going to call them, are a really good product. Um, they are definitely for do-it-yourselfers. It's They're easy to use. They're easy to screw in. They're easy to set up. Uh, you can you can use wire, not wire cutters, but um, metal shears to cut them. I've actually got to cut this unit right here to cut it down the size to fit the last panel. Um, they come with multiple holes, which is nice. Also, what I like about these things, they actually come with a valley. It's hard to see, but this is there's actually a valley between this and this and how they cover. And for my metal roof, this has been an excellent solution because these easily slip under um, the overhang on the metal fence, and then these screw on top of the gutter. So this is designed for five inch. What I like, again, I like about it is it actually forms a valley and that is the water comes down here. I like the diamond shaped holes because it prevents debris from getting in there and much better than the mesh ones I had. I've just noticed a, a very good improvement just in the heavy rains I had the other day. I'll show a picture of me on top of the roof installing these, but again, these are very easy to cut. Uh, if I was able to mount my camera here, I could actually show you how to cut this, but these, these are simple to cut with your shears, metal shears to cut them to the size you want. Also the thing, they overlap. I should have showed this, you see this overlap here. So simple, you basically go right to left in other words you put this in first and you when the next one come in you just lay it in top of this one so you don't have a gap and so again these things fit very very well and they work well on the five inch cutters i have and i'll show you a picture of that as well, or a little short video of that as well too all right it took me exactly about 10 seconds to cut that you can tell it's a very smooth cut i originally was going to cut it here here where I have my marking is, but I said, you know what, I'll just have a little bit of overlap because I wanted the screw hole to have co to cover. So this will easily go on under the spot I want. So I'll, I'll show you the meaning you saw this last section here on the roof, then you'll be able to see from one side to the other side on um, my particular install. But again, I do love the valley performance. So this is still good material. If I can have another gap, I can use it someplace else. All right, I'm actually showing you the most difficult section for me to put this in. Probably not the best thing video to show for the quality for the product, but it this also at the same time shows you the quality of the product. And again, as I talked earlier about the overhang, let me pull this off here a little bit. You see that little edge right there? I'll easily slide that over like that and slide that over so I can do it that way. But the last thing I like with the product is how easy it will slide in underneath the the gutter, the overhang of this metal roof, as you can see right here, is fitting in really nice like that. I'm going to have an overhang, so I do need to slide this down a little bit. What I think I'm going to do, though, before I proceed, is just, if I cut that little lip there, then I don't have to worry about this little lip on the end. So I'm going to cut this lip off here, and this will go on much easier. But this whole roof has been all the way down, all the way down with this material from there to there, what I'll, from there to there, from point end to the other end. And it replaced a wire mesh that was coming like this, coming down and the water was just literally hitting the wire mesh, running down and running over that, running over the edge. And by pushing this way, I literally have a valley in here, just, you know, slot valley with these indentations here that allow the water to roll right over into these little valleys right here and go right down in the ground. So I have much better drainage with this unit. Now I did put several screws in this section because the succession I had to extend out. But normally what I did, I skipped two holes and it went in fine. So again, very good, very easy to work with, very uh, malleable, but at the same time, very strong material. Oh, I'm just going to cut this end off right here and that'll make this smooth go much, much better. That's what I should have done in the first place. When I cut this, I, I wanted to make sure I had a hole at least. So that's why I cut it on the side. And then I just realized when I did that, I should have cut this end off. So I'm going to cut this end off and, and install it. Just another quick video to show how easily this was a clip. I was able to take my metal shears and clip this piece off real easily. So now I have a smooth thing for it. I basically did that. So at the gutter end, I don't have this little issue on the gutter end getting in in this particular spot that I'm installing. And again, I'm installing in the most complex section of the gutter because how they, they put in gutters, they actually squeeze the gutters together. So I've had to expand the gutters by hand a little bit so I can actually get the center. 
that's not a fault of the gutter covers. That's a fault of the people who probably installed the gutters in the first place. But I can make this gutter cover work, and that'll give me the cover that I need. So here I'm installing the very last section of the Spectrus Pro gutter covers or armor shield. And um, you can see again, like I talked earlier about the overlap with my hand. You can see where the overlap came out. I have a nice smooth line. Again, this is the most complex section, so it's a little bit difficult to do this one-handed. But again, what I like about it is, is how easy I can slide this underneath, underneath the uh, overhang, which is what I just did. And it just clips right in. So this is going to go in place. A little, bit, a little bit more difficult, but it will go in place. There it is popped in, so now it's in place. And you see I have my overhang. It's perfect what I want. So now I'm going to screw it in. And that's my last piece. And there's the gutter all the way down. Again, does a great, great job on this metal roof. I no longer have water coming over, over the things, over the gutters, because I have this little bitty valley in here with these rips, with these ripples in here, which really controls the water. Water stays within here, and I have this lip that comes over. I don't have my other gutter covers, or actually, see how my hand is shaped up? They actually had the gutter covers going in here, and that one, they literally the wire was touching this and the water is running down the wire and just going over. Now I don't have that problem anymore with these gutter covers. Great job, love these products, uh, very easy to work with.